Uh, the Bud Light Hank It Up concert series continues, and the return of Josh Thompson. Man, look the at you. return. Look at me. Shower day, man. It was shower day, buddy. Ernie, you're looking good yourself. Thanks, man. It's been good. I mean, there's a lot of good energy going on. There's a lot going on, you know? Yeah, that's good. You guys are busy. Yeah, you too, man. Yeah, absolutely. Busy is a beautiful thing, but uh, tonight's going to be awesome. I haven't been here. It's uh, It's not going to be outside. It's not going to be 80 degrees. No. It's not going to be at 5 o'clock. I'm telling you, here's my objective, and I said this to uh, to Celeste earlier. She's shooting the video, by the way, which we're going to post up later. At oh, Hank there's FM. video. Yeah, there's video. Ah. Shooting. And um, <laughs> I said my objective is to get onto uh, Josh Thompson's website, uh, replace the video at Joe's with one at, at 8 Seconds Saloon. I think that'd be kind of cool. But that's a nice objective, right? That, that is a great objective, and it, it may happen. I've heard, uh, I've heard it's going to be a good, rowdy crowd tonight. It's good to have you back in Indianapolis. Last time would have been like the State Fair, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was. I got a nice shot of you with uh, Indiana's best behind you. Yeah, you do, and you definitely have to email me that picture and make a T-shirt out of it. You talked about a whaling record, uh, vinyl, that you had picked up at a thrift store for like three bucks. Yes. You said you'd carry it with you and you have it signed. I you do. still do that? Yeah. Well, I've got it. Uh, no, I've got it sitting at home in a frame now. But I had it signed by... Um, Jamie Johnson, Miranda Lambert, Eric Church, Randy Hauser. Wow. And it was, uh, the, the vinyl was, the cover was signatures. It was like Whalen's buddies. It was like Willie and Tom Paul Glazier. And so I just kind of, I found it for $3. And so I had some of my buddies sign it and frame it, putting it on eBay in about two months. Blame it on Whalen. Now. <laughs> blame it on Whalen. And I blame it on Whalen. Last time he was here, played at the State Fair on the side stage there. And I remember it because for a couple of reasons. It was a beautiful day, a really cool blue sky, and you got a ticket on the way back. But it wasn't your fault at all. No, it wasn't my fault. You got a ticket, though. I did. I got a ticket. And I, what's her name? Kimsey? Kimsey, yeah. So Kimsey was, was picking me up from uh, the hotel. Sure. Because that was, it was a shower day. And... Uh, <laughs> taking me to the venue because we were going to play in an hour and she was going a little fast and uh somebody didn't have their seatbelt on and when she got pulled over she got a ticket and then i got a ticket also two tickets were written one for the speeder her one for you not having your your but you now you do that you buckle up it's like automatic thanks well, she to... i got in the in the truck today and she's like you have to put your seatbelt on <laughs> but i've got way out here which is really, I guess, where it, Beer on the Table is where it began. That was the first single, but right. Way Out Here. Yeah, Way Out Here. Uh, yeah, that one was, uh, it was a really good choice for a second single. I mean, live, it's it's turned into a, an anthem almost, and it's great to have one of those in, in your arsenal. I mean, people just lose their mind over it, and it's, it's great to see that every night. Let me ask you, do you end up playing the guitar during Way Out Here, or do people, I mean, and just and listen to people sing? Do they sing along with you? Yes. It do. happens, doesn't yep. it? Yeah, every night. you see right here <laughs> will be the josh you see next time he comes back right there Is will be no point? silver jumpsuit shiny gold glasses mr beer on the table mr way out there yeah mr survivor man josh <laughs>